Welcome to the installation of the Le Mans 2 Blind Corner Unit by Kassaboomer. The Le Mans 2 will bring all of the contents of your blind corner cabinet out into the room with a simple pull of the shelf. This video is for demonstration purposes only. Please refer to your mounting instructions for the actual installation. The opening height requirement for the Le Mans is 21 and a half inches, so you can install this in a full height opening or an opening with a drawer above it. The width requirements will vary depending on which of the three sizes you are using. Today we'll install the largest Le Mans with a minimum opening width requirement of 22 and a quarter inches. Keep in mind that Le Mans 2 is available in a right or left swinging unit. Today we'll install a left swing Le Mans and we'll follow the instructions for a frameless cabinet. If you're using the smallest size of the Le Mans 2, or if you have a cabinet with a face frame reveal of more than three quarters of an inch, you'll need to use a filler strip. The tools you will need to install the Le Mans are a tape measure, a T-square, a level, a pencil, an awl, a Phillips head screwdriver, and power drill. If you prefer to use the included measuring gauge, you won't need a tape measure for this installation. You will also need 15 countersunk screws. The measuring gauge included with your Le Mans 2 is made to fit each sized unit. We'll use this gauge to show the positioning for all of the hardware that needs to be installed. First, lay the gauge down across the floor of the front of the cabinet opening. Use the curve at the end to mark the floor inside the blind portion of the cabinet. This is where your post base will go. Mount the base to the floor of the cabinet with the three screws. Next, stand the gauge up against the front wall of the cabinet inside the blind and mark a line through the notch in the gauge. Now, lay the gauge across the upper portion of the cabinet opening, line it up with your notch, and mark a vertical line across your original line. This intersection will be positioned in the bottom center hole of the L bracket that is mounted to the front wall of the cabinet. Screw the L bracket to the cabinet using four screws. Next, we'll mount the long M profile bracket to the opposite wall of the cabinet. Use the gauge and line it up with the front of your cabinet to show where the M profile bracket should go. Using the eight screws, mount the M bracket to the wall. The slots in this bracket will allow you to change the height of the Le Mans shelves. Next, we'll slide the arms into the M profile bracket. You can adjust these arms by pushing on the lever and lifting them out of the slot. Now, to install the post into the blind side of the cabinet, slide the post up first into the top coupling and set it down onto the bottom coupling. Then use the snap ring on top of the post to hold it in place. Now you'll install the other set of arms onto the post. The arms will need to be installed at an angle and will wrap around the post and lock into place once they're lowered. To change the height of these arms, you can pull the adjustable rings out of their position, sliding them up or down into the next available pinhole. Le Mans 2 will often come equipped with a soft close mechanism for each shelf. The soft close slides onto the arm extending out from the M profile bracket on the top and bottom. Now it's time to install the shelves. It's as simple as lining up the pins and inserting them into the holes at the end of each arm. You will hear a click when the shelf is in the correct position. If you need to adjust the height of these shelves, the shelves can easily be removed with a flathead screwdriver which is wedged in between the pin and the hole. There is a built-in adjustment block installed on the rear of the bottom of each Le Mans shelf. This block can be turned into different positions in order to restrict the travel of the Le Mans trays out into the room if you have limited clearance. You can see that the Le Mans will extend into several different positions based on the turn of the adjustment block. If your Le Mans will be installed into a cabinet with limited clearance, we offer a restrictor clip as an accessory that can be installed on the arm of each shelf. This restrictor clip will prevent the Le Mans from extending past the end of the cabinet. Once your shelves are installed, you can cycle the unit out a few times to make sure that everything is working smoothly. To recap, mount the post base inside the blind. Mount the L bracket at the top of the blind. Mount the M profile bracket. Install the arms into the M profile bracket. Mount the post inside the blind. Install the arms onto the post. Install the soft clothes on each arm. Mount the trays. 
Congratulations! You've completed the installation of the Le Mans 2 by Kesseboomer. Your blind corner is now a fully functional, organized storage space with easy access. Thank you for choosing Kesseboomer. Go to cleverstorage.com for more product information, photos, and videos.